room since I was there before. Okay. Um, <laughs> Derelict Toys formed um, out of David's acting class. When I got that class, acting for non-majors, I was like, do I have to teach like acting? And they're like, teach whatever you want. I was like, cool, I'm teaching improv. One day I just went into a classroom and I saw like everyone was the same age. In that first class, I had Wes. I realized now his name is Nell. But I said, are you David Noel? I was like, can I just sit in on your class? He's like, sure. I was like, awesome. Because I had that and Jeff Worth gave me improv gym to teach every week. So. Because he's also teaching this workshop and we're more interested in learning more improv, we also went there. They all started coming to improv gym. Keith met Keo, yeah. who we met through improv gym that David also teaches. I knew she liked improv, so I invited her to improv gym, and she came, and she was amazing. Uh, Keith and Keo were dating also, so no, 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 you're going too far. No, you're going too far. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, someone else, okay. someone else going. That was the first semester of the one act festival. And then the project spotlight thing came up, and I said, okay, we're gonna do a Harold. So we held auditions, but we didn't really yeah. cast anyone else. Held auditions, but I already knew who I wanted. I wanted Keith. I wanted Kia. I wanted Jesse. I wanted Wes. The show was fantastic. We actually got two shows in a three-night production, and because it went so well... You're we all there, doing improv, a whole bunch. You, you know the rest? And eventually we formed a troupe. No, no, it's more than that. We felt that we were strong improvisers, and we wanted to show some people more, like, more in a theater setting you got to attend. More in a theater, more in a theater <laughs> setting. the years. We kept performing and we decided to remain as an improvisational group. Oh, improv. Oh, is that like sack? No, it's not. Like, is that like whose line is it anyway? No. We do long form improv, which is like a collection of the short scenes that you might see in whose lines in any way, but you know, molded into a cohesive story or something with a common strain throughout. Short form is the MIDI on the computer. Long form is the DVD behind the scenes release. Dave is the metaphor guy. <laughs> Short form can be enjoyable. Yeah. But it's not the only part of improv. Yeah, that's, that's what annoys that's the thing. me. That's the thing that we're driving at, is that Short form isn't just improv. That's improv isn't just short form. There are so many other things. It's like saying theater is just musicals. Oh. <laughs> we do pretty much strictly long form. Long form improv is better than short form. Short form's okay. I like long form better. Alright, the bell's wrong, everybody. That means it's time to start. Uh, so, let's just do a head count. Uh, one, two, that's everybody. Bring it all to San Francisco. <laughs> I can't look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on! Improvisation for somebody who's never heard of it, um, and let's break it down to improvisational theater, is... Making the discoveries to find out what the best option is to happen next. Living truthfully under imaginary circumstances, but add on without a script. But typically with a structure that underpins what they do. Typically. Not always. Um, but definitely without a script. You usually take suggestions from an audience. Third place! Third place! You can do this! Let's do it! Here comes your old lady! Okay! Right there, right there! You can see it! You can see it! You can see it! One more! One more! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! I feel like a god! First rule is, any rule can be broken. If both people agree, it can be broken. That's hard, because every rule can be broken. Second rule is, agree on everything. The first rule is, agree on everything. The second rule is, break any rule as long as you agree. Agreement always has to be there. More milk duds! Here's your towel! Yeah, as long as that prom don't know oh what they're Oh my missing. god. Great. Can, can you beat the Simpsons arcade game and put my name in first? I need a second. My ass is falling asleep. But, but, oh. no, look, I, I, I promised Daphne that I was going to get first place for her. Can, can you do it? Daphne. Oh, God. Okay, uh, 
don't negate. That's not a pizza. That's a, that's a chair. It's like, it's like uh, where's the seat going to go? You have to say yes and. Yes and. Yes and. Yes and, which is an extension of that also. You say yes, that's a pizza, and I ordered it 20 minutes ago, and mm -hmm. you were late, and you just add on, and you build the scene that way. We'll be there with you. Your own man. We'll support you, man. But we can't do it for you. Actually, Were you supposed uh, to like pick her up for prom too? She's fine. She knows I'm here. Oh. Where's so. she? She's at her house. I I we I. We cut I, to I, Daphne at her house. <laughs> Back to the video <laughs> arcade. You just left her there. <laughs> She knows how important this high score is to mine and hers relationship. Okay? Prom started two hours ago. Third is, is remember that you're a genius. Everybody is a genius. Yes. Treat everything that you come up with as being genius. If you trust completely, anything that someone gives to you, any idea that they have, it gets treated like a genius. You sure she her? understood you? She's kind of... <laughs> well, how could she possibly have misunderstood? I said, baby, I'll be back. I'm gonna play it for us. You know she's autistic, right? This cycle, cycle of trust and support and love. Back at Daphne's house. <laughs> You'll keep down that crying in there, girl. He said for us. Shut up. He said for us today. Back the arcade. Having trust with whoever you're in the scene with. That's kind of the same thing as everyone's genius, though. Did you at least? You deliver the corsage? Yeah, at least I had a single telegram guy give it to her. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Sing Back at Daphne's house. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Your Satan may come here. He's down at the arcade. He says that prom would have to fun, but you will have to Her, it's me. She understands. You should at least call her. At least yeah, call. Here, take my cell phone, man. Just yeah. give her a call. You don't Something. know what's happening next. And if you think you know what's happening next and you try to act on that, odds are you're pushing your ideas onto someone else. <laughs> Answer that damn phone! I'm getting it, Daph. Hello? Hey, Daph. Hey, who, uh. Who is this? <laughs> It's Roger. Roger? Yeah, yeah, hey, um, I I'm down, you know, playing the game for us. Don't, don't you worry, I still love you. He's today for us. Today for us, always, babe. I knew you'd understand. Bye. <laughs> Forward that energy to the next person so that you're supporting them and agreeing with them. And then they're going to give it back to you. And then you take it and it's yours and you're going to give it back. And then it comes, you know, it's a beautiful thing. Listen, listen is the number one rule. Just get out of your own way and listen. Because if you do that, then everything you do will come out great. <laughs> he lied. He took advantage of my disability. Hi, Daphne. Hi. I'm your sense of revenge. <laughs> I'm here to comfort you. I want to send him a sing singing telegram, but of knives. <laughs>